Thank you. Welcome, Nathan Hunley. We're glad that you're here with us. God bless you so much. Thank you. We're glad. We're glad when young people are on fire for God. I'll tell you what. And we wish you and your uh, new new wife or wife to be soon. What a month away? I guess it is. Are you nervous about that? Oh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but you're ready to go. Hey, you went to World Harvest Bible College, and and God has definitely placed an anointing upon your life, and you do it a great, great, great thing. And uh, already pastoring the church. Tell us a little bit about your calling, and, and maybe tell us a little bit about how the Lord. Lord dealt with you and you knew you were called to preach because a lot of people out there wonder most everybody is, is deals with the issue of what am I called to do God, tell us a little bit about that it's where people maybe come and say hey that you know not necessarily a pastor but God's definitely called me and I don't know how and tell us how that happened to you and maybe they can get a little insight on how the Lord's speaking to them as well well I was raised in church my whole life my grandpa was my pastor and being raised in church, sometimes you take for granted the anointing and being able to come to church. So when as I became a teenager, I, I kind of became numb uh, to the things of God. But uh, every time I'd come to church, I would get visions and see myself preaching, see myself praying under the anointing. And never really knew what the anointing was, never really been under it. And when I was about 16 years old, I had was doing some of the things that teenagers uh, do and was running wild. And one night I was in a revival service and I knew that I had to, even though I thought I was saved and because I was raised in church, I knew that I had to step out and come to the altar. And I nailed down at the altar and I just said, God, I want to give everything I have to you. And uh, when I was in eighth grade, I always told everybody I felt like I was called to be a pastor and people would kind of laugh because by nature I'm an introvert, don't do a whole lot of talking. So it kind of, I have to kind of force myself to do it. And it's a lot easier when the anointing comes upon me. But when I was 16, got saved and just never looked back. Shortly, probably a few months, I was preaching and God was using me and uh, thank God every day for it. Wow, Amen. that's amazing. So you had little, what I'm going to call snippets of your future. Yeah. And you saw yourself in these uh, particular situations and you knew there was something hooked to that and obviously when you gave your life over completely to the Lord he just let those snippets become the steps of your reality oh, yeah. to the re or, or at least the reality to the steps maybe yeah. I can just say that wow amazing yeah. I believe you helped a lot of people right there because a lot of people feel these things but they don't know what to do with them so the Lord's been using I know you're young I mean how old are you 28 28 yeah. gosh I remember when I was 28 I think it's been a little longer than a few years ago but anyway I <laughs> I remember when I was 28, I think I was just married, right? At 28, right? Mm, 26. 26. I know 26 and married. Uh, 28. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So I just gave away my age and I just, okay, I did. Anyway, that's okay. We don't care about that. But I just want to say at 28 years old, you already have our pastor in church. How did that happen? How did, how did you become a pastor at church? Well, I uh, started preaching when I was 17 and God was just using me and uh, just really knew that what, that's what I was called to do. And I went to Bible college, like you said, at World Harvest and, uh, my grandpa was getting older in age and he kind of passed away and my uncle filled in for the church a little bit and after a while it was just kind of clear that I kind of saw the the, the void to say mm -hmm. and uh, they just kind of put me in there and started started pastoring and it, it was, it's been hard but God's been opening doors and great things are happening. Wow. Well, I think that's awesome. I, you know what? If you can, if anyone can out there, the more you know about what God's doing in your life and you feel, con you know, that this is where God's leading me to. I'm telling you, what, if you start out at your age right there, uh, obviously you'll, you'll get a lot of other things behind you that, uh, that people at my age are still facing and, uh, and get all that and set it all up. And God's just going to do a great thing. What, what would you tell somebody on, on what, you, what you've learned so far, maybe as your top two or three things that you feel like God really has shown you in this time? about following your destiny toward the ministry? Well, just seeking God, I mean, daily, and just staying humble and uh, knowing what ministry is about. It's about loving people. And I think at a young age, you know, when they started pastoring, it took me a while, you know, you think, oh, it's about preaching, it's about ministering, and really that's just the fun part. You know, the, the being a pastor and, and ministry is about people. And so God Which is has, not the fun part, is it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I try to make it fun. <laughs> you can be honest, this doesn't go to Dayton. <laughs> yeah. I try to make it fun, but something that I was so uh, impressed uh, that it, like I, when I went to, got to go to Israel with you guys, I didn't know I was going until uh, that Monday. I know, we left, last minute. We man. left on Wednesday, and I just know that was a God thing. And what God just really 
the whole trip, I was just got a chance to observe Pastor Chuck, you, and, and just how you managed uh, all 46 people that, you know, and you took time to uh, just, you know, see how everybody was doing, and, and you just knew no strangers, and that really ministered to me, because I got to really see what, what a pastor is, and uh, that trip came in such good timing uh, to me, so. Gosh. I, and it was just, a, it's helped me so, so much. And then going back to church, I just came back with a new love for people. And uh, I just praise God for that. So, you know, my advice to somebody is just keep seeking God. Stay encouraged. Uh, stay thankful. You know, the Bible says in all things, give God thanks. And uh, when I first started, I thought things would just come all together, you know, overnight. But sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But in due time, you know, things will work out.